clearance, approval, registration. FDA has clearly defined them, but they're often used interchangeably by companies. What do they really mean? Companies boost their perceived market value by implying that FDA has blessed their device. Statements like, we're working towards FDA approval, or our device is FDA approved, are common. But does FDA even approve devices? The short answer is yes. But only the highest risk, most complex, and most costly devices to get to market are actually approved. Sound confusing? Let's break down the different types of recognition you can get from FDA. Number one, FDA registered. This means your company has registered with the agency and paid a fee. FDA knows that you are selling a device or a service and can come audit you. FDA registration doesn't imply any blessing or goodwill on the part of FDA. And an FDA registered company may have sent FDA a registration fee, but they've not necessarily been audited by the agency. In the same way, an FDA registered manufacturer has not necessarily been inspected by FDA yet. Some manufacturers will be registered with FDA for food or drugs and not even currently building devices. When you see FDA registered, it's just an invitation to dig deeper. FDA registered communicates no authenticity, validity, or FDA goodwill. Number two, FDA cleared. When used correctly, this term refers to FDA allowing a device to market through the 510K process based on substantial equivalence to a legally marketed predicate device. It doesn't sound as glamorous as FDA approved, but clearance is a critical step on the path to market for many devices. A device that is truly cleared may not have FDA's affirmative blessing, but it is certainly passed a basic level of scrutiny and the door is now open to the market. But many devices, especially health and wellness or even 510K exempt devices, erroneously claim that they are FDA cleared. Think about it. If the device never required a 510K clearance in the first place, the words FDA cleared are meaningless. Here's a device being sold at a major online retailer that claims to be both class one and cleared. But devices like this one, while subject to good manufacturing practices, do not require a 510K clearance. So adding words like FDA cleared to the marketing material may sound good, but they do not represent that FDA has taken any activity toward the device. Number three, granted. The term granted is used by FDA to describe a favorable outcome to a de novo classification request. This means that a company has successfully worked with FDA and that their device can be safely marketed through general controls or general controls and special controls without demonstration of substantial equivalence. On the path to market, a granted de novo request has roughly the same weight as a cleared 510K submission. Both mean that FDA has opened the door to the market. Number four, FDA approved. This term is reserved for the highest risk pre-market approval or PMA devices. It is only this small subset of devices subject to incredible scrutiny, which actually earn the label FDA approved. Unfortunately, this is also the term most abused by companies. Here's a hearing aid sold online. Most hearing aids are either class one or class two devices, and there's no reason to believe a pre-market approval was obtained. But here's a hearing aid marketed as FDA approved. We see FDA approved stamped everywhere these days, including on devices that have not even been registered with FDA. All this to say, buyer beware. You can confirm a company's registration status and the devices that they are registered for at the FDA's registration and listing database. Feel free to reach out to Intubeing for assistance. And if you're developing a medical device, contact us to learn how Intubeing can be your medical device development partner.